another long day. Another long, uneventful, unfruitful day. Can't rely on goblins for anything. Ruined experiment. Waste of resources, more like. Next time I shall hire the kobolds. They're less prone to set things on fire. Though, admittedly, more expensive than I'd like. If only I could find a way to finance my experiments while also finding time to sit and ponder. Hmm. I see no reason why I can't go and ponder for a bit. I mean, haven't I earned that? Hmm. All right. All right, that settles it then. I shall go and ponder the orb. Perhaps I'll find a solution to my little issue. Perhaps. No. Let me uncover you. There you are. You glorious thing. How you shy. Wait. Is that a smudge on my orb? Has someone been touching you? Has someone been using you. Oh, to think that someone would touch my personal orb. Most disdainful, but no matter. It's just a smudge. Nothing a little spit can't fix. There we go. There's my beautiful shining orb. Once again. Now, what will you show me today, Orb? Hmm. Now, this is interesting. It appears to be a dragon's horn. But where is the dragon? Now, this could be a lucrative venture. Imagine an unguarded dragon horde. And with my amazing wizardly powers, who knows what I could accomplish with my experiments. I could even hire the kobolds. Heck, I could even hire other wizards. No sorcerers, though. They make any magic making an absolute nightmare. Hmm. hmm. But how to go about claiming that treasure? Hmm. I caught all this high a group of mercenaries. Or I could claim a share of this treasure and claim it to be belonging to the elves, perhaps. Though elves don't like to put their claim on gold. But dwarves, hmm. Now dwarves, on the other hand, that would be interesting. What do you think? Do you think that we could trick some dwarves into doing our work? Well, my work. Oh, you are a saucy one, aren't you? Hmm. Now these dwarves look interesting. Yes, I shall summon them then. But where shall I summon? Oh, 
the halfling's home. Never would have thought of that. It's so irregular. Look at you, Orb. You're so much smarter than I am. I'm kidding. You are an anatomic object. However, you are wiser than I am. Hmm. I could send letters. Have them out. Travel quickly. Hmm. Well, there is no telling how long it would take for them. No telling how long this dragon's gold will be unguarded. Hmm. But it's too good an opportunity. And with this dragon out of the way for now, we can lay claim to it. What if the dragon should return? What then? What then could I do against a creature like that? Perhaps if I knew the type of dragon. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Orb. You are ever astute in how you know. Hmm, a red dragon. Interesting. And not in a volcano. Hmm. That's odd. So we're looking at preparing some freezing spells. That I can do. I can do more than that. Hmm. This will be easy. All the elements against fire, and perhaps even some lightning could do some damage against it. I'll have to do some research, of course. Is this a list of its weaknesses? <laughs> Orb, I would spend all day with you every day if I could. Is it possible to love an inanimate object? <laughs> because if so, I love you, Orb, and I am going to take you wherever I go. Hmm. My machinations are already working. Time to send some messages, then. Or I could stay with you a little longer. Staring deep into you. My goodness. My goodness gracious. So much to do. So much to plan. And I've got all the time. So much to do. So much to plan. Well, then I'd better get to it then, shouldn't I? Those dwarves won't gather themselves. Hmm. I wonder if I tell them that it's an ancestral horde that used to belong to them, if they'll believe me. They can be quite gullible, those dwarves. Hmm. Very well, then. The plan is in motion. Excellent. Orb, you have helped me immensely. If only I could reward you the way that you constantly reward me. Well, perhaps another shining would help. I do know how much you love being shy. That may have to wait. Thank you again, 